Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Kung dumating na ba yun sa buhay nyo that you feel like the whole day is not enough for you to accomplish all of the things that you need to do for the rest of the day. So there's a reason why I am doing this video for us to value the time that we have and of course for us to respect as well the time of others. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe guys! On today's perspective, we will be talking about time management. So just a quick story that ever since I was in kindergarten, whenever I go out, I have a watch, a wristwatch, because this is one of the skills that I have learned uh, from my mom. Tinuruan niya ako kung paano tumingin ng oras because uh, she wants me to be aware of the time always para I know that I am already on my pace for me to value the time and for me to segregate the tasks that I need to do for the rest of the day. So I think the only secret for us to manage our time wisely is to balance everything all up. For us to balance, there are actually four general factors that affect our daily lives. Number one is work. Wherein this is something that brings food to our table. So technically, we need to do this. The second one is family. So basically, backbone na ng buhay natin yan. And that is actually essential in our daily lives. And then the third one is our friends. It is really important for us to have like a support system for us to manage our daily lives. And then the last one is to value ourselves. So, meron tayong nalalaman na me time and all. Just for us to, you know, try to value or try to give importance to ourselves. So, those are the four important things or four essential things that we have in our daily lives. So, how do we balance those four? That you need to subdivide the time that you have to that four essential things. So, paano yun? So, like for example, if within the day or within the week, uh, medyo sumobra ka with your time, with your work, then nandiyan naman yung weekend. So, that's the reason why you need to, you know, try to manage your time naman with your family or with your friends, you meet your friends during weekends or pwede din Friday night, diba? That's the reason why meron tayong tinatawag na Happy Friday or PGIF because that's sometimes after a whole exhausting work or uh, a very stressful week that we had with our work, then that's a time that we try to, you know, give our friends or our family ourselves some time for us to recover from that. So basically, you just need to subdivide that. So you need to be aware na parang like for example, Uy, I have given enough time for work this time. So dapat naman siguro, I should also give time for my family. So uh, pwede akong bumawi in such a way na pwede akong malibre ng lunch or pwede akong mag-spend time at home or sometimes you feel like you need someone who could really understand you so nandiyan naman yung friends mo and then also there are times that you also need to value the time for yourself so meron tayong me time na tinatawag like for example you need to pamper yourself or you need to do some things on your own so those are the basic things that you need na medyo hati-hatiin mo for you to manage your time wisely I'll be sharing some tips for you to have like proper time management. Number one is for you to plan the day or the week or the month that you will be having. Kaya nga tayo di ba yung magkasas ng napakarami for coffee, for Starbucks, for any coffee shops that we have. For us to have a planner, use your planner wisely. So that's the time that you jot down all of the things that you need to accomplish in each day, in each week, or in each month. Para there will be no overlappings of the schedules that you have. And also you have like a checklist for you to accomplish for the day or your deadlines, if ever that you have. You just need to manage your time wisely. Whenever you try to plan, so technically you have like a vision what's gonna happen in the next couple of hours. I need to be on track on this specific time that I have. 
on a micro level, you need to segregate or prioritize the tasks that you have. Since I am a nurse, we have like a triads wherein you categorize all of the all of the pieces that you have, and then that's the time that al alam niyo mo kung ano yung mas urgent na kailangan mong gawin. So parang ganon sa so for you to manage your time wisely and for you to know which is something that you need to accomplish is you need to cite all of the tasks that you need to do and then try to prioritize them and categorize them in such a way that you have like a certain deadline or you have like a roadmap that you are eyeing on for you to know kung ano na yung accomplish mo and ano pa yung accomplish mo for the day, for the week, or for the month that you have. So, for me, actually, I jot down all of the things that I do. I use my planner. Tapos, what I do is I try to ginagawa ko muna yung madadali. Mas nakikita ko yung na-accomplish ko wherein I check all of the things. Minsan, we are uh, medyo nag-discourage tayo whenever ang dami ko kailang kang gawin. Ang dami ko kailang kang gawin. Or something like that. But what I do is, I try to start muna with the small things para mas nakikita ko mas marami akong nagagawa. Plus, pag kunyari, medyo complex na yung ginagawa ko, then that's the time that I need to weigh myself kung ano ba yung dapat ko i-prioritize pa. Parang ganun. So these are just some tips that can actually help you for you to, you know, regulate the amount of tasks that you need to accomplish. And sabi ko kanina, di ba? You need to segregate the time that you have with all of the factors that is affecting your life. So these are the things that you need to take down for you to have like a vision on what you need to do for the rest of your day. So these are just some examples that I can share. But you know, it it, it differs from different individual. Like for example, for me, inuuna ko yung madadali, bago yung may hirap. But some other people are comfortable with doing complex tasks prior to doing the small stuff. So it really depends. The most important thing is that you have that motivation for you to complete all of the tasks that you have that is actually cited on your planner. So um, I have a video regarding motivation, so I'll just link it down below on the comment box. Okay, so I hope that um, these tips really help you in order for you to spend your time wisely because you know, it is really important that we value our time and we also respect the time of others whenever we are trying to mingle or we, whenever you need to also to collaborate with others. Okay? So, I hope that this helps. If you want to follow me on all social media platforms, you can follow me at Jordan Rindon. And I hope that you have a pleasant day ahead. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye!